Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add custom sized error bars to an Excel graph. So in the last video, I looked at how to plot a scatter graph. So the first thing is this page is getting pretty congested. So we're going to move the graph to its own place. So I'm going to right click on the chart area. We're going to move chart and we're going to create a new sheet uh, with the graph in it. Okay, so we've got the graph in its own sheet now. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I've clicked on the chart and we're going to add an element and we're going to insert some error bars. And I'm going to give it a custom type error bar. So you can see over here, we're currently editing the vertical error bar. So I'm going to give it their own size. So you can see they come up massive to start with, but I'm going to create my own. So I'm going to give a specific value. So let's delete the automatic thing. And if we go to my table of data, what I've done is I've created cells with the uncertainty in the breaking distance and uncertainty in the speed squared there. Um, so we won't worry for now where these values have come from, but let's just save the argument. We want to put these in. So the vertical error bars, if we look at our graph on the vertical axis, we've got breaking distance. So we're going to put the breaking distance uncertainty in both the positive and the negative error bar section. And what we're also going to do is we're going to edit the X error bars or the horizontal error bars. And we're going to do the same process. We're going to set the values and delete what's currently in there. And we're going to put the speed squared uncertainty in both of these boxes. Okay, and we have created some error bars on there. But we can see at the moment, our error bars are pretty small. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens if we change our values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of the cells just equal to the top one. And let's apply that formula to all of them. But I don't want to copy the formatting. Let's do the same thing here. We're going to make all of these cells in the column copy the top one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just change that to one. And if we go to our graph, we can see the error bars have dramatically changed in size. So if we change that to, I don't know, 0 0.2, you can see again our error bars change size. So our error bars are changing size depending on the values that we put in here. And again, we can see the error bars change size. So we've got error bars that will adapt depending on the values that we put in them, which are really useful. And we can see that it works exactly the same thing with the X error bars. So we can see we can change the size of those ones as well.